Well, guys, I think um, the other day or last week, I think I teased a little bit on Instagram. I was showing, I took a picture of, um, I put it on Instagram of my Shat and Morgans, my Shat and Morgan collection. I didn't go through with the video. Um, I just wasn't ready for it. I, I, I made, I think I made an attempt at it and then I, um, I wasn't feeling it. So I just took a picture on, put it on Instagram. So now I'm trying some of my other favorite knives and they are my Remingtons. So I'm going to try and do, um, this video of my Remingtons and give a quick look at them and see how, um, see how I could get through this. So first up, I'll go through this guy here first. This was a camp knife that I picked up that I was eyeballing for quite some time. And I finally took the plunge. And when I picked this up, it was just uh, one of the most outstanding camp knives that I ever picked up in my entire life. Um, from the sheath all the way down to the tool itself is just um, just a thing of beauty. Uh, let's see if I could show you that there. Um, is that still in there? I hope it is. My receipt, yeah. But here is, um, here's the tool. Let's see if I could, here it is, Remington UMC. But the tool setup on this thing is just absolutely marvelous. Everything locks up beautifully. Um, I don't want to take too much time, uh, with all this stuff, but, um, We'll figure it out. Everything's nice and tight. Everything is just the way you like it. Um, I gotta try and hold on a minute, guys. Uh, that's why when you're working around this screen and you try and do this, it's difficult. When you're trying to pull all these blades out of here. But anyway, this is an idea of some of them here. There you go. That'll, if I could just get that to go down there. So this is it. Took long enough. This is the camp knife. And I just love this uh, tool. I love it so much. And I was on it and chasing it for a while. Because it was, they're not easy to come by. This one, this particular one. Um, they're out there, but they don't come up that often. So when I acquired this one, I was a happy man. Uh, because this is a great piece for the collection. It, it, it really is an, a beautiful piece for the collection. The sheath is pure leather. It's just a wonderful piece. Um, <clears throat> it's just constructed so well. And I like to carry this. Um, I like to carry this. And when I carry this thing, I just, it brings me such joy uh, to know I have this on my hip <clears throat> with my belt. And it's just a fantastic piece. It really is. You can see the Delrin. I love Delrin jigging. For some reason, I know I'm weird. I love Delrin now. You could see the back spine on it. Just look at that. It's just beautiful. Uh, that's another reason why I like these guys. I collect these. This is my favorite of all time. Of all time. This um, Victorian Axe. It's just an unbelievable piece. The detail in this piece is just unbelievable. Look at the spine, how the spine's all crowned. The, um, you can see the back, look at that. 
Look how the back's all jeweled. It's, it's just unbelievable. This really has taken on a patina of its own. And it just keeps changing all different kind of colors. Like every time you hold it or you, you carry it, it, it changes another color. It, it never stays the same. All this in here, it never stays. It's just, I, I can't explain it. And it was well worth the money I paid for this. It This was one of those knives that I paid a lot of money for, and I don't regret. I don't regret one second, because this is, this is an heirloom. This is a serious heirloom piece here. If you guys are looking for an heirloom piece, a real, real, real heirloom piece, and you really want to give a gift to someone, you might want to check these guys out. I could give, they're called triangle tools. They're out of Ukraine, but that's for another time. Um, so yeah, that's my uh, camp knife here. This guy here, I love these banana knives, man. They're so big. They're so cool. I love, love, listen to the lockup. I love these knives. I just love them. I love the blade shape. I love the way they feel in the hand. They're not real big. I mean, they're big knives, man. Don't get me wrong. But I get a beautiful purchase on it. And if you need to do some any any kind of serious cutting, um, well, that blade right there will get it done for you. And I just love the way it lo looks. You got that big compound grind blade, that long fuller. It's just a beautiful piece to me, to me, in my opinion. Um, if you get a chance to get one of these bigger pieces, try one out. Try one. You'll love it. This is, is a, this is a newer acquisition um, that, man, I just love this thing. Um, I can't believe it came up. And, um, well, I had to jump on it. I totally, totally, totally had to jump on this one. Um, it's a great, it's a great knife, man. There's, that's all I could say about the piece. It is an absolute fantastic knife. You can see here, two bladed configuration jack knife. Uh, you've, this is bone. This is not Delrin. You've got that beautiful bone. Uh, you've got that sterling silver shield in there. Um, the back spine is, look how well it's constructed. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's made in 2004. I grabbed this one. But all in all, um, it is just a beautiful um, piece. I love it. I love this knife. And I just got this one not too long ago. This one is a Smoky Mountain Knife Works Stockman. Um, it's a um, um, it's a special run done by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and it's a Stockman. I'm not going to open up all the blades, but you can see the blades are just so thick. Um, real nice thick blades on them. Beautiful. It's just, you know, one of those stockmans that are just, you know, um, just on another level. It, you can't get another stockman like this. They're just, this wood is special wood. Uh, they made this for Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, again, the bullet shield is beautiful. I love the bullet shield. That's another thing that attracts me to these knives. And they're just, they're, they're good knives. They really are good knives. Um, this one here is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. This is like a copper head. But you can see, I want to show you the blades. Look at that blade. You know, they do it. Look at that. Look how big and deep and cut that fuller is. Um, I honestly can't speak highly enough of Remington. You know what I mean? 
Um, look how beautiful that blade's done. Look at that. How beautiful that is. Um, this is a beautiful piece as well. I really, really like this piece. Fit and finish is beautiful all the time on them. Really, really nice pieces. I can talk about them all day, but we got other things to talk about here. This was a knife I won from Warthog. This is a little Stockman. And let me tell you something. This little Stockman I've carried almost more than any of these knives here. I throw this in a slip and I just, something about this knife I love. It's got the R right there. I just love this little wood um, uh, budget. That's cause that's what it is. It's a little budget uh, Stockman uh, Remington, but I love it. I love it. They even do their budget knives uh, these good. This was the Smoky Mountain Knife Works biggest hit. Um, this was their uh, big thing. I forget what they call this, uh, but this is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclu exclusive that just came out. It's got sterling silver inlay. See, it says read sterling. Um, you've got this beautiful bone, um, saw cut bone. And this is one of my favorite pieces in my whole entire, in the whole collection, you know, um, out of all the knives I own, I love this knife. I love this knife a lot. I really cherish, I cherish this one. So that's that one. What else we got? This is the Remington. Here's another exclusive from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's just a wonderful, wonderful piece. This is made by GEC. The fit and finish is just look at look at the blade. Um, yeah, um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works commissioned uh, GEC to make this knife. So this is a GEC. Look at that blade. Look at that blade. Gorgeous. Absolute gorgeous, gorgeous knife. This is might be my favorite one uh, in the, in my um, Remington collection. I just love it. I just love it. This one I found brand new in box. I couldn't believe it in in the um, in the box. It unopened. It's a little trapper. Look at that little blade, man. It's a little trapper. I found it brand new. And yeah, it's just a great little trapper. I'll show you what makes it so great. Look at the jigging. Look how deep that jigging is. Look at the depth on that. Look at that green jigging. Is that unbelievable or what? Is that pretty cool though? Look how deep that jigging is. Just an awesome, awesome. Um, this is an awesome little trapper. That's a mini trapper and it's awesome. <clears throat> That's about all I got guys. That's all my, uh, Remingtons. Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment if all possible. If not, that's okay. And, uh, we'll keep, uh, hitting this. We'll keep getting it out there. I got a lot of knives that uh, I was reluctant to show, and I'm going to start yanking them out. I'm going to start yanking all, all, all my knives out now. Thanks, guys. Be good, be well, be safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.